Today I am going to explain about discrete Fourier series. So discrete Fourier series is nothing but Fourier series is applicable for periodic signals. So in signals and systems we have seen continuous Fourier series. So continuous Fourier series which is represented as X of T whereas in discrete Fourier series it is represented as X of N. So what is meant by a periodic signal? Periodic signal is nothing but the signal which repeats after certain interval of time. For example, I am taking a continuous signal and a discrete signal. So this is a discrete signal. So from here to here, if you take it as capital T, time period for one cycle, from here to here is capital N because of discrete time. The signal which repeats after certain interval, after certain interval of time T, the signal again repeats, then it is a periodic signal. So in the same way for discrete signal, the signal which repeats after an interval of n, then it is a periodic signal. So the periodic type of signals we are applying for a series to these periodic signals. So the condition for periodicity is x of n is equal to x of n plus capital N. Here the small n which is represented as x axis and y axis is x of n and n is nothing but total interval of one cycle. So this is the condition for periodicity. Okay, now we have, we have to see what are, how to represent the Fourier series signals. The discrete Fourier series can be represented as x of n. So x of n is equal to summation k is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of k e power j 2 pi k n by n. So in this x of k is nothing but Fourier series coefficient. We call this as a <coughs> Fourier series coefficient where k is nothing but 0, 1 up to n minus 1. So in this equation x of n can be derived from x of k. So x of k is equal to 1 by n summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e power minus j 2 pi k n by n. So this is the Fourier series coefficient. So we already know the condition for periodicity. So what is the condition? x of n is equal to x of small n plus capital N. So we have to apply this periodic condition to, to this Fourier series coefficient. So for that, so you have to take in place of k, you have to write k plus n. Replace k to k plus n. x of k plus n is equal to 1 by n summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e power minus j 2 pi k n by n. Okay, so in place of k, so here also substitute k plus n. That is k plus n into small n divided by capital N. So now x of
x of k plus n is equal to 1 by n summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n so e power minus j 2 pi k plus n so you have to separate e power minus j 2 pi k n by n into e power minus j 2 pi n into n by n so here n n get cancelled so e power minus j 2 pi is equal to cos 2 pi minus j sin 2 pi here the value is 1 so it is always 1 now so this value is 1 now x of k plus n is equal to 1 by n summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e power minus j 2 pi k n by n ok so in this equation so this is nothing but what x of k so x of k plus n is equal to x of k hence Fourier series coefficient is also a periodic periodic series.